Hi ladies and gentlemen, Morgan Rehenberg here again. Uh, it's been a good while since I've shot a video. Uh, for the most part, that's due to the fact that there's simply nothing to shoot about or there's no other topic that I can record about. Uh, but yeah, a new one has come up. In this video, I'm going to be discussing my experiences um, in working with one of these Solomonic Pentacles, specifically having it tattooed on me. Uh, before I start, again, uh, even if I say so myself, I have more than enough experience in that department. So this is not a new or unique subject for me, or this is not new ground that I'm touching on. Um, yeah, I've had plenty of other, I have plenty of other pentacles that have been tattooed on me with the desired results and also the undesirable or less desirable results or side effects. And it's no different, okay? The uh, pentacle specifically is the latest that I had tattooed on my leg, which is the first pentacle of Mars. Um, as usual, okay, I always check the forecast, and by forecast I mean my divinatory readings. And my readings indicate in this one uh, that, yes, uh, the first pentacle of Mars, since my patron is the Archangel Samael, uh, the first pentacle of Mars... Um, will make me stronger as a magician and uh, as a whole okay um, and it will lead to slow steady progress not slow steady progress but let's just say steady uh, progress okay rather than rapid progress so i will become better and stronger even more so than i already am in the long term that's the benefit uh, the drawback is obviously this is unsurprisingly since mars deals with these kind of things uh, the drawback is accidents and or misfortunes befalling me. Let's just say more accidents. You know, sudden accidents, things happening like you stubbing your toe, uh, you hitting your head. Uh, these are examples, okay? This is normal since Mars deals with these things. The Mars deals with violence and chaos uh, positively as well as negatively. So, again, you can't have the good without the bad as the saying goes. This is something that I know all too well. Um, I'll show them to you, hold on, um, let me just, um, uh, hold on for a second, um, let's see, yeah, this is what it looks like, uh, you can see it from afar. Uh, my skin is a bit dry, so hence it looking like this. I need to shed a couple of layers of dead skin first. And after that, my tattoo will look as good as new. Um, in the article that belongs to, or the, or the article, in the article that corresponds to this, um, that corresponds to this video, okay, I'm also going to put a picture, okay, that you could click on if you want a closer and better look at the pentacle that I had tattooed on my leg. That, I took that right after I, um, right after I, I came from the tattoo in the tattoo salon. I had it tattooed on me, so that was when it was still fresh. Uh, so yeah, let's start off, okay? For, uh, for starters, um, when I had that tattoo put on, it hurt significantly more than the other tattoos that I had put on. But I, it, it was reminiscent of the other Martian tattoos that I have, the other Martian pentacles was no different then, it still hurt like a motherfucker, sorry for swearing, but it still hurt, it really, really hurt, okay, um, not that I, <laughs> that I, that I showed any kind of notice or anything like that, no, I just, I was just completely quiet, but yeah, because I, I expected it, okay, I thought to myself, Martian Pentacles, uh-uh, it's gonna hurt, not just speculation, I know from previous experience, aside from knowledge, um, and then the other things, okay, I had noticed an increase in misfortunes, things happening, you know, even more so than they used to. I also noticed an increase in rage, I'm not kidding. I mean, my rage level has, has increased beyond levels that I can even, that I can't even begin to metaphorically comprehend. I mean, I really am raging at least three times a day, okay? We're talking about anger, there's waves of anger coming over me. And of course, it's not enjoyable, but it's all part of the package. Um, that's point one. Not that I'm suffering too much or anything like that. I automatically take it as a side effect, so I'm not worried. Okay, uh, I'm not really suffering. I'm not suffering, to put it that way. It's just a, an, an annoying side effect, you know. 
me going like ah motherfucker this and that uh, certain times in the day uh, for at least a minute or two <laughs> I actively suppress these kind of feelings when I'm alone uh, I mean when I'm in public but uh, even then if you closely observe me then you'll notice it you'll notice that I'm mumbling I'm mumbling in myself and then all of a sudden I'm in a bad mood or a not so good mood and so on you get the gist of it okay you understand what I mean dear viewers um, the other things are that, um, yeah, the other things that have happened that are noteworthy, believe me, okay, and I have a friend that here, a local friend in my location that knows that I'm a sorcerer, okay, uh, I told him everything and so on and he was a customer of mine for a while, I don't conduct business locally, but since he's a friend, a good friend of mine, I made an exception for him, and yeah, um, I went on a tour into the jungle uh, yesterday with him and for me it's anything but the first time, okay? that This is my eighth time going, so I'm familiar with the landscape, I'm familiar with everything, okay? We uh, rode these ATVs, they're like scooters but with four wheels, you know, think of a fusion between a, a car and a scooter if you don't know what an ATV is. ATV stands for altering vehicle. So. I'm also going to put pictures of that in, uh, I'm going to put the link to a video, a small video in, uh, in the article too, okay, so that people that are interested can see, you know, what I'm talking about exactly and what I'm referring to. It is something that I do for fun, you know, it's a leisurely activity and most of the time, uh, most other people that I go with are foreigners, most of them are Dutch expats. Uh, people that are here for work temporarily, people that are here are temp laborers um, from the Netherlands. Uh, local people don't do stuff like this, you know, because they either don't care for nature or and or it's way too expensive by local standards, you know. Just taking part in such a tour will cost the average person his or her monthly income and or salary. Um, in any case, yeah, this is, it was anything but the first time for me, so... But even by those standards, okay, things really went wrong. Things took a significant turn for the worse yesterday, thanks to that pinnacle. And long story short, we got stuck. I got stuck in the mud and or water three or four times along with my, um, with the other riders. Um, other things that have happened are that one of them almost, one, one of them almost capsized with uh, one of those ATVs, not almost, okay, the ATV was completely over the top. Um, I had heard because I wasn't near them, I was in front of them, but uh, my friend told me, yeah, these people completely went over, okay, the ATV was, was completely turned around when, um, they, when I was in front of, when I was behind them. And a bunch of other negativities happened, okay, a bunch of other negative things happened that usually do not happen. Okay, make no mistake. And all the times that I, I took part in this activity, and, all, and every, every time that I did this, only once has something happened to me where I crashed and I had uh, scrape wounds and everything. But for the rest, nothing else happened really. Um, nothing else happened, okay. But yesterday was, let's just say, a bad day, to put it that way. And it was no coincidence. I felt the effects of that pinnacle right away. And, it wasn't speculation. My intuition immediately told me, hey, that's that pinnacle. And to make matters worse, while we were driving home, okay, my friend and, my, and my friend and I, we took a wrong turn and we ended up in a road that ends dead and a road that's not even asphalted. We're talking about a road that looks a lot like being in the jungle. And the car got stuck not once but twice. And I told him, hey, it's that pinnacle. Because he was with me when I had that tattoo put on. You know, he told me, hey, drive me to the tattoo salon, I'm gonna put on another, I'm gonna put on another tattoo. And he asked, you know, he just asked superficial questions about it, okay, what does this do, and so on. And I told him, and when we got stuck, I told him, hey, it's that pinnacle, and his reaction was, yeah, I know. I thought about it all the while, okay, because I was afraid that we were going to get stuck there, and I was gonna have to tow, the, have the car towed, and that is nothing but misery at such a late stage in the evening. We're talking about 9 p.m., or 8 p.m. and I told him, yeah, I noticed, okay, the second you started going shit, 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 it's the second I thought to myself, okay, he really is afraid that we're going to be stuck here the entire night and for the entire evening and he has work tomorrow, he has to work at 4 a.m. or he starts at 4 a.m. 
tomorrow but uh, no things still went well okay i managed to forward the car to a position where we became unstuck uh, and also he helped pushing he helped to push the car out of the mud and i told him hey it's that pinnacle have you noticed and he was like yeah i noticed i couldn't stop thinking about it okay the second you told me and then we got stuck again the day was already so hefty and then we got stuck again and yeah, those are only a couple of examples, okay? But overall, I have noticed an ex a significant increase in, um, in small things happening, small misfortunes, okay? Of course, the benefit is still there, okay? I'm also noticing that. The benefit of that first Pinnacle of Mars is that I am seeing um, that the guys that I work with have gotten a bigger sense of humor. They make more jokes with me than regularly. That one only came to me just now. Um... And I also notice an increase in astral activity, an increase in my astral senses. Um, I've noticed on occasion the familiars of the spirits that I work with. Okay, this might not sound like a big deal, but uh, generally speaking, the spirits that I work with, they keep their familiars or their subservient spirits in the background. Okay, they don't want, um, they just don't want me to be preoccupied or distracted by them. But I'm still seeing them nevertheless and other small things so yeah that pinnacle is working out exactly as always or as, at the very least as usual like all my other workings uh, in terms of accuracy and results and i will become even better and stronger as time passes by thanks to this pinnacle for me the benefits outweigh the drawbacks obviously that's why i did it but i'm simply recording this video for people that are seriously interested in the pinnacles like my other general video on the order of the pinnacles uh and my video on my tattoos yeah these uh pinnacles are um, very potent i'm not saying that you that anyone out there should tattoo these pinnacles i know what i'm doing specifically and what the results will be and what the effect and or outcome will be um so that is it in any case that's just what i talked to share uh, with you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm.